new at 11, the Civilian Office of Police Accountability shares some details on the sexual misconduct investigation at the Chicago Police Department's 10th District. Sean Lewis is live in Chicago and Ashland with more on this development. Sean. Yeah, Pat, this may have been an update, but maybe not the, the update that many were looking for. COPA's chief administrator today saying that she called this press conference because there's been a lot of talk online and on social media regarding this specific case. She wanted to be transparent on where it stands today. COPA learned of the allegation, she says, the evening of July 6 through rumors from city employees, not from migrants. In that allegation, there was a specific officer named in the 10th district on the southwest side. The allegations were of a sexual nature. One of the reports many saw online saying that a teenage migrant girl was pregnant. A COPA, CPD Bureau of Internal Affairs, other city agencies, as well as outside nonprofit groups that specialize in migrant services, did help in the investigation, talking with officers, talking with migrants who have been staying temporarily at CPD police districts around the city. And while they have received some other complaints, including one of the 19th district in Lakeview, COPA says it has not been able to substantiate any specific sexual allegations in the 10th district. Anytime you're investigating an allegation of sexual misconduct, particularly sensitive in nature, particularly involving a potential perpetrator in a position of trust, those are incredibly powerful barriers to people feeling that they can trust a system and come forward and share their experiences. That can only be compounded uh, for members of a migrant community who may have language barriers, may not understand our systems of justice, may not know who COPA is or what we do, and that is why um, I'm not going to be rushed in the investigation of this process um, because I want to ensure that we have done every bit of due diligence to provide as much outreach, as much information, and as much education to that very vulnerable community to make sure that we've done all we can to ensure people have a feeling of individual safety uh, in their ability to come to us with an experience that they had. Now, the chief of uh, CPD's Bureau of Internal Affairs was scheduled to be here this morning. She was not. We've reached out to CPD for comment on what may have happened with that one person not being here today. That is the latest here on the city's west side. Sean Lewis, WGN News. Sean, thank you. We will continue to follow that.